Senegal's new parliament opens on Thursday. 73 women parliamentarians have seats in the 165-member assembly. The West African country now ranks fourth in Africa and 18th in the world for gender parity in parliament. Political parties in our country are led by men. But when will women also lead political parties? For me, one of the biggest challenges for women in politics today is to create their own parties. Now, speaking of education and social justice, a lot of our girls are out of school because of early marriages, poverty and health issues. We wonder what interest people have in saying that boys can marry at 18 and girls at 16. This disparity must be corrected. By voting for us, the Senegalese people trusted us to come and represent them here in Parliament. Today, studies have shown that women are more dynamic, more aggressive than men on several levels, because we are against injustice and we work in truth and sincerity. Analysts say the progress is unprecedented. We fought in 2018 to have at least four women and four men in the leadership of the vice presidency of our National Assembly. The beginning in this fight was not easy at all. I think that today the equality between men and women according to the law is respected and we are working on it with the National Observatory for Parity. It is important to give women the opportunity to occupy positions that will allow them to better develop and contribute to the national and international development of their country. Senegalese women parliamentarians say they would like to see parity in their country's parliament. That means 50% men and 50% women representation. And eventually for the National Assembly to be headed by a woman.